Right, with this one, I'd say it's very much a case of better late than never. So I'm putting these up two days before the exam, which isn't really much notice, but um, it's only really to guide your last minute study anyway, so. So for ordinary level, some of the main topics I have for you, and remember these are listed in order of the most likely down to the least likely. Um, so number one on the list is Newton and acceleration due to gravity. Number two, sound waves, pressure, radioactivity, gold leaf electroscope, electricity, voltage and wattage, electromagnetic induction, um, moments equilibrium, potential difference in capacitance, and x-rays and types of radiation. Then for the experiments, there are only two left that haven't actually been asked yet since the course started and they are to investigate the laws of equilibrium on a set of coplanar forces. Also the in, to investigate the variation of current with potential difference for a conductor like a wire for example. Uh, then the experiments that are likely to come up again this year are verify the principle of conservation of momentum Measure the specific latent heat of the what is it, vaporization of water, I think. Basically of steam, anyway. Um, to verify Snell's law, or to verify Boyle's law, possibly the, to investigate the variation in resistance of a wire with temperature. To measure the focal length of, of a converging lens. To measure the wavelength of monochromatic light. Obtain the calibration curve of a thermometer to find the speed of sound and air, or to verify Joule's law. And remember, I have them listed from the most likely one down to the least likely one. Right. Higher level. For the higher level, you're obviously going to get your chosen elective option anyway, that goes without saying. After that, I'd say your most likely one is radioactivity this year. Um, capacitance, electromagnetic induction, gravity and circular motion refraction and lenses, photoelectric emission, sound frequencies and harmonics, forces and momentum, waves and wave motion, and resistance. Um, for the experiments, there's quite a few that haven't actually ever been asked on a higher level since the course started, um, seven of them, and they are to measure the refractive index of a liquid, to measure velocity or acceleration, to investigate the variation of current with potential difference for a conductor, a wire for example. To investigate the variation of current potential difference for copper sulphate with copper electrodes. There's a mouthful. To measure th the specific heat capacity of water using an electrical method. To measure the specific heat capacity of a metal using an, el using an electrical method. To obtain the calibration curve of a thermometer. Those seven have, to, have yet to be asked in the higher level course, so maybe I'll get one or two of them this year. Now, other ones that are very likely to reoffend this year are to verify Boyle's law, to verify Joule's law, to measure the wavelength of monochromatic light, to verify the principle of conservation of momentum, to investigate the variation of the fundamental frequency of a stretched string with length. Um, the variation of current with potential difference for a filament bulb. To investigate the laws of, equilib the laws of equilibrium for a set of coplanar forces. To investigate the relationship between period and length of a pendulum. So there are some of your most likely experiments for this year. Is that it? I think that's it. That be physics. Grand. But now that's all over, I know I've been going out of my mind, running out of control. It's been a long, lonely road, but I've walked it, I have been told you're no good.